University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Getting questions right and doing so quickly is the order of the day as two more teams of students compete for a place in the second round. Winners go through automatically. The losers could qualify to play again if their score warrants it. Now, the team playing on behalf of St Catherine's College, Cambridge, represents an institution said to be named after the patron saint of learning. It was established by Robert Woodlark, the Provost of Kings, in 1473 as a small community of scholars who'd study only theology and philosophy. Nonetheless, alumni include the actor Sir Ian McKellen, the novelist Joan Harris, the comedians Ben Miller and Richard A. Oaddy, and... Uh, me. But they'll have uh, more sense than to expect any favours from me with an average age of 19, representing around 600 students. Let's meet the Cats team. Hi, I'm Callum Watson. I'm from Stirlingshire and I'm reading maths. Hi, I'm Ellie Chan from Brighton and I'm reading for a PhD in History of Art. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Callum Bungie. I'm from London and reading chemistry. Hi, I'm Alex Cranston. I'm from London and I'm reading natural sciences. Now, the University of Southampton owes its existence to the benefaction of Henry Robinson Hartley, a local eccentric who inherited a fortune from his family of wine merchants, which resulted in his home becoming the Hartley Institution. This became the University College of Southampton in June 1914, which in turn became a university in 1952. Its campuses include the National Oceanography Centre and, we're told, the engineering department features a variety of wind tunnels which have been used to train Olympic cyclists. Alumni include the musician Brian Eno, the film critic Mark Commode and the broadcaster Chris Packham. Sir Tim Berners-Lee is currently on the academic staff and anyone who follows the Archers will know that Alice Aldridge has graduated from Southampton. With an average age of 26, representing around 23,000 students, let's meet the team. Hi, I'm Will Cable. I'm from Swindon and I'm studying for a Master's in History. Hi, I'm Sarah Stock. I'm from Cardiff and I'm reading Chemistry. This is there, Captain. Hello, I'm Trisha Gargan. I'm originally from New Ross in Ireland and I'm doing a PhD in Biomedical Engineering. Hi, I'm Roland Sadler. I'm from London and I'm doing a degree in Biology. OK, the rules are the same as ever. Ten points for starters, 15 for bonuses. Let's just crack on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. In which city square was a statue entitled The Goddess of Democracy erected by students on May the 30th, 1980? St Catherine's Watson. Beijing. Nope. Erected by a student, you lose five points. On uh, May the 30th, 1989, around ten metres tall, it stood for five days before being destroyed by the People's Liberation Army and the People's Armed Police. Southampton Stock. Is it Tiananmen Square? It is Tiananmen Square, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on adjectives, Southampton, from the names of countries. In each case, give the single adjective that links the following. Firstly, a play by Stephen Burkhoff, first performed in 1980, a fraternity and sorority system in US colleges, and an incendiary weapon used by the Byzantine Empire. Greek? Greek. Greek. Correct. Secondly, a marine Nidarian with a powerful sting, a collection of sonnets by Elizabeth Barrett Browning and the former name of East Timor. No. Stinging insect. East Timor and sonnets. Portuguese, sonnet. Portuguese man. Portuguese. Portuguese is correct. And finally... The former capital of Jamaica, a common name for the flu pandemic of 1918, and the steps in Rome leading to the church of the Trinita dei Monti. Spanish. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> Meanings of what word include in general use that which is most important or relevant, in heraldry, an animal with both front legs raised, and in warfare, a territory surrounded on three sides by enemy forces, such as Ypres. During the first... St Catherine's Bungie. Rampart? No. I'm afraid you lose five points as well, because it was an interruption. At Ypres during the First World War. You may not confer one of you may Hampton pass. Stock. Just a guess. Is it rearing? No, it's salient. So, another starter question. Also an occasional model for a Dutch clothing company, which Norwegian became at the age of 19 in 2010 the youngest player to be ranked as the world's number one in chess. 
Southampton stock. Is it Carl Magnuson? Nope. Mm. One of you may buzz St Catherine's. You're not buzzing quickly enough. I'll tell you, it's Magnus Carlsen. You had it for the wrong way around. I knew it was something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like that, but you weren't close enough. Right, ten points for this. Which Prime Minister's second period in office saw the publication of Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol, Disraeli's Coningsby and Sybil and Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven? In domestic... Southampton Cable. Lord Palmerston. No, you lose five points, I'm afraid. In domestic politics, it was marked by the success of the campaign to repeal the Corn Laws. St Catherine's Cranston. Gladstone. No, it's Sir Robert Peel. It's famously his great, the greatest achievement of his government. Ten points at stake for this. Bury St Edmunds, Newark-on-Trent, Cantley in the Norfolk Broads and Whissington in the Fens are locations of large factories that together refine and produce more than one million tonnes a year of what... St Catherine's Bungie. Sugar beet? That's correct, yes, sugar. Right, your bonuses this time are on scientific establishments, St Catherine's. The role of which organisation, founded in 1863, is to serve as the official adviser to the US government in all matters of science and technology? The physicist and surveyor Alexander Bash was its first president. The American Christian College of the National Academy of Sciences. Yeah. National Academy of Sciences? Correct. Founded in 1799, which organisation purchased premises at 21 Albemarle Street in London and held its inaugural lecture there in March 1800? Royal Institution? Correct. And finally, what is the world's oldest national scientific institution founded in 1660 after a lecture by Christopher Wren? Its presidents have included Samuel Pepys, Isaac Newton and Sir Humphrey Davy. The Royal Society. Correct. And we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see part of the front cover of a book from the Horrible Histories series. For ten points, please give me its title. St Catherine's Bungie. Scary Stuarts. No, anyone want to buzz from Southampton? Southampton Saddler. The Slimy Stuarts. Slimy Stuarts is correct. We'll see the whole thing. For your bonuses, three more sections of covers from Terry Deary's Horrible Histories books. Each case, please, I would like the title for five points. Firstly... Angry, Angry, Aztecs. Aztecs. Angry, Aztecs. Angry Aztecs. That is correct. We'll see the whole thing now. And secondly... Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Cut throat. The cutthroat Celts. That is indeed correct. <laughs> and finally... Vicious, Vicious Vikings. Vicious. Correct. <laughs> well done. Right, ten points for this starter question. What adjective can be applied to both the church that does not fall under the jurisdiction of the local bishop... St Catherine's Bungie. Peculiar. Well done. Right, your bonuses, uh, cats, are on 18th century England. 1729, 1736, 1743 and 1751 all saw the passage of acts that attempted to conserve the consumption of which spirit? Gin. 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 Correct. In 1751, which author and magistrate published an inquiry into the causes of the late increase of robbers in which he blamed the consumption of gin for contributing to the rise in crime. Henry Fielding? Which author? Henry Fielding? Any ideas other than Henry Fielding? Um. Henry Fielding. Correct. In 1751, William Hogarth issued two prints, one depicting the evils associated with drinking gin, the other showing the supposed virtues and benefits of consuming which beverage? Beer? Beer is right, yes. <laughs> right, ten points at stake for this start of question. Born in 1713, which French mathematician gives his name to a set of differential equations? The youngest person to have been elected to the Paris Academy of Sciences, he correctly predicted to within a month 
the return in 1759 of Holly's Comet. Southampton stock. This is going to be wrong, but is it Poincaré? Yeah. You're right, it is wrong. <laughs> uh, St Catherine's? St Catherine's Watson. Is it Laplace? No, it's Clairot. Ten points for this starter question. Leaving Crete and flying in a northeasterly direction, passing the island of Naxos on the left-hand side and Kalimnos on the right, landing on Icaria in the Aegean Sea, is an approximation of the flight of which figure of Greek mythology? Southampton Goggin. Icarus. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. His son died on the journey. St Catherine's Bungie. Deedless. Deedless is right, yes. Icarus was the son. <laughs> right. Bonuses this time, St Catherine's, on European history. Now the largest of the Baltic states, which country was a powerful empire from the 14th to the 16th centuries before joining in a commonwealth with Poland? Yeah, the Lithuanian. Lithuania. Correct. Poland and Lithuania were victorious at the Battle of Tannenberg in 1410 against the Knights of which order? Knights of... The Teutonic, Teutonic Order. The Teutonic Order? Correct. In 1795, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was divided up, with a portion being annexed by Prussia. In 1807, this was incorporated into which grand duchy created by Napoleon? Warsaw. Warsaw is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Conceived as a tool capable of the infallible recognition of undecidable propositions, what two-word term denotes a hypothetical computing device named after the mathematician who introduced it in 1936? St Catherine's Bungie. Turing machine? Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on probability, St Catherine's. Which probability distribution can be defined as the limit of the binomial distribution as the number n of independent trials tends to infinity, whilst the product of n and the probability of success in each trial remains constant? What's that? Um, no, tends to infinity is a central limit theorem, so that's a normal distribution, surely. Normal. No, it's a Poisson distribution. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Secondly, if X has a Poisson distribution with mean 1, what is the probability that X equals 0? Please mm. express your answer in terms of the constant E. Mean 1, so E to the minus... Um, it has a lambda of... Lambda, lambda, is, lambda is 1, so it's E to the minus lambda, lambda to the n over n factorial. Um, 1... O sorry. Yeah, 1 over E. E to the minus 1. It is E to the minus 1, yes. If X has a Poisson distribution with mean 3, what is the standard deviation of X? Um, L squared minus L6. No, it's the square root of 3. Okay. Right, we're going to take a music round now. You're going to hear an excerpt from a musical. For 10 points, please name the musical. Master of the house. St Catherine's Bungie. Les Miserables. It is Les Miserables, yes. <laughs> Les Mis is an example of a sung-through musical. That is, it has no spoken dialogue. Your music bonuses are excerpts from three more musicals written that way. In each case, I simply want you to name the musical, please. Firstly... Speak! That was a very loud beep. I don't even know if this is working. Mark, Mark, are you there? Are you screening your calls? It's Mom. We wanted to call and say we love you and we'll miss you tomorrow. Cindy and the kids are here. Send their love. Oh, I hope you like the hot plate. Just don't leave it on, dear, when you leave the house. Oh, and Mark, we're sorry to hear that Maureen dumped you. I say, say, love me. Uh. <laughs> um, uh. I think you either know this or you don't. Yeah, yeah. We, don't. we don't. That is voicemail number one from Rent. Oh. Secondly... Evening, ma'am. Don't turn the bed yet. I'm not the maid. What do you want, then? They must have written the room number wrong. I am looking for someone named Christopher Scott. 317. Oh, I'm sorry. Unless... Well, you must be, of course, you're John's wife, are you not? Oh, God, I see. It had to happen. What am I thinking? 
<laughs> That's not the answer, but I'll say it anyway. Funny girl. No, it's not. It's room 317 from Miss Saigon. And finally... You could be converted. What do you mean? Refilled with a new and better form of power. You mean I could be converted to steam? Sure could, and with steam, you'd be on the yeah. Porgy and Bess? No, that's from Starlight Express. So, ten points at stake for this starter question. Which British monarch's brothers included Augustus Frederick, Duke of Sussex, Frederick, Duke of... Southampton Cable. Uh, George IV. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses, Southampton, are on too much. Which poet began a sonnet of 1806 with the lines, The world is too much with us. Late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. Little we see in nature that is ours. Mm -hmm. really. William Wordsworth. Correct. He played too much football with his helmet off. To which future US president does this remark of Lyndon B. Johnson refer? John F. Kennedy. <laughs> no, it's Gerald Ford. And finally, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. In which play by Shakespeare do those words appear? Hamlet. Hamlet. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what did Emerson describe as a jealous mistress, Andre Malro as a revolt against man's fate, W.B. Yeats as but a vision of reality, and Oscar Wilde as immoral? St. Catherine's Cranston. Is it fortune? No, anyone want to buzz from Southampton? Southampton Goggin. Love? No, it's art. Ten points for this. In the novels of Dickens, what profession links jaggers in Great Expectations? Southampton Goggin. Lawyer. Lawyers is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on families of the order Carnivora. Herpestidae is a family that includes various species of mongoose and which burrowing mammal of southern Africa noted for its upright sentinel stance? Meerkat. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. What is the largest member of the Mustelidae, the family that uh, includes otters, badgers and ferrets native to boreal forests and tundra? It resembles a short squat bear and is also known as the glutton or kakadu. Nominate Sadler. Wolverine. Correct. Procyonidae includes oligos, kinkajous, and which nocturnal mammal of the Americas characterised by its bushy ringed tail? Raccoon. Correct. And points for this starter question. <laughs> In petroleum refining, thermal and catalytic are two. St Catherine's Bungie. Cracking. Correct. These bonuses, St. Catherine's, are on Alexander Pope, begun in about 1715. Pope's translations of which epic poet brought him financial independence and allowed him to set up home in Twickenham? Uh, epic poet, poem, poem, wasn't it? Come on. Sorry, I can't hear your answer. Homer. Homer is right. Published by Pope in 1733, which philosophical poem attempts to demonstrate the essential rightness of the world ordered by God? <sighs> well, all I know is The Rape of a Lock and the yet. There's only two things I know by him. The Rape of the Lock? No, it's the essay on man. Okay. And finally, notably used by Pope, which word originates from the Greek for depth? and means an abrupt descent from the elevated to the commonplace. Bathos. Bathos. Correct. Bathos is correct, yes. <laughs> We're going to take a second picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting by a French artist. Ten points if you can identify the artist. Everyone is looking blank. Does anybody want to take a guess? No. Right, OK, well, I'll tell you, it's by Poussin, it's winter or the flood. Picture bonuses in a moment or two. In the meantime, here's another starter question. Fingers on the buzzers, please. 
Also a French term for a small container for gunpowder, what name is given to the oval-shaped figures used in Egyptian hieroglyphics to indicate... In Southampton Cable. Cartouche. Cartouche is correct, yes. <laughs> right, you'll recall that you saw Winter or the Flood, one of four paintings by Poussin representing the seasons. Your picture bonuses are from three more series of paintings on the same theme. Again, in each case, I simply want you to name the artist. Firstly, this is Spring, from a series by which French artist? I have no idea. I have no idea. Give me, an, give me an artist. Give me a French artist. Mm. No, that's too impressionist-y. Um, Any French artist? I have no idea, because all I can think of now is Suzanne. <laughs> Delacroix. It is Delacroix, yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, secondly, Summer, by which Czech artist? Oh, this is Mooka. Hmm? Mooka. Nominate stock. Um, it's Alphonse Mooka. Correct, it is. And finally, Autumn, by which Italian artist? Mm. Oh, I don't know who painted this. I don't know who painted this. Give me an idea. I don't know. Van Dyke. No, it's Archimboldo. Ten points for this. Vienna, Berlin, Box, Rotary and Piston are all types of what component used in musical instruments? Southampton Goggin. Valve. Correct. <laughs> that gives you the lead. Your bonuses are on places that share their names with the breed of dog. In each case, name the area from the description, please. Firstly, a strait in the Tierra del Fuego archipelago, around 240 kilometres in length, and named after a British exploration ship. Magellan. No, it's the Beagle. Uh, secondly, Sorry. a large inlet in the Atlantic coastal plain bordered by Virginia and Maryland. Maryland and Delaware, Chesapeake. Dog. Hmm? <laughs> Labrador. No, it's Chesapeake Bay, as in the <laughs> Chesapeake Bay Retriever. And finally, the easternmost portion of the Canadian continental shelf or Laurentian Plateau? Labrador. Labrador. That is a Labrador. Four and a half minutes to go, ten points for this. In computer science, for what does the letter I stand in the acronym ACID in the context of the set of properties ensuring the reliability of database transactions? Southampton Goggin. Information. No, anyone like to buzz from St Catharines? St Catharines Bungie. Interchange? No, it's isolation. Ten points for this. In physics, what is the supersymmetric counterpart of a quark? With... St Catherine's Bungie. Squawk? Squawk is right, yes. <laughs> These bonuses could give you the lead again. They're on chemistry. In which class of organic compounds does a carbon atom share a double bond with an oxygen atom, a single bond with a hydrogen atom, and a single bond with a side group? Aldehydes. Correct. Which aldehyde has a side group consisting of a single hydrogen atom? Ethanol. No, it's methanol. Yeah. And finally, which organic compound is produced by the oxidation of methanol? Methanoic acid. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Created by the US cartoonist Charles Adams, which two children have... St Catherine's Bungie. Wednesday and Pugsley. Correct, yes. These bonuses are on writers from New Zealand, St Catharines, born in Wellington in 1888. Which author's short stories include The Fly and the Garden Party? On moving to the UK, she became friendly with both Virginia Woolf and D.H. Lawrence. In that sort of set, there's... What's the one with the double barrel name? Not Come on, let's have it, please. Vita Sackville West? It's not. Uh, it's no, it's Catherine Mansfield. Yeah. Which New Zealand author won the 1985 Booker Prize for her first novel, The Bone People? No, I don't. That's Kerry Hume. And the 2013 Man Booker Prize winner, The Luminaries, was written by which author who, at the age of 28, was the youngest to have won the award? Come on. No idea. It's Eleanor Catton. There's two and a half minutes to go, ten points for this. In Wagner's ring cycle, Wotan and Erda are the parents of the figures known by what collect... St Catherine's Bungie. Valkyries. The Valkyries is correct, yes. 
Your bonuses are on a Chinese emperor, St. Catherine's, born in 1360. Yung Li was the third emperor of which dynasty whose power he expanded considerably? Um, is it going back? Started in the 14th century. Ming? Correct. Yung Li restored which route, often cited as the world's longest man-made waterway at over 1,700 kilometres? It connects the southern city of Huangzhou with Beijing. I'll let you pick. Nominate Watson. Uh, Grand Canal. It is the Grand Canal, yes. Yung Li moved the capital from Nanjing to Beijing, where he commissioned which complex, now known by the Chinese as the former palace? Is that Forbidden City? Forbidden City? Correct. Ten points for this. The executive mansion of which G20 member state is the Pink House, or Casa Rosada? St Catherine's Bungie. Brazil? Anyone like to buzz from Southampton? Southampton Goggin. Indonesia. No, it's Argentina. Another starter question now. Ten points for this. With four wins between 1996 and 2014, which French club were the most frequent winners of Rugby Union's Heineken Cup? Southampton Goggin. Toulouse. Toulouse is correct. These bonuses are on population. Three countries in the Americas have populations of more than 100 million. One is the United States. What are the other two? Mexico and Brazil. Correct. Brazil and Mexico are among the 19 countries which, along with the European Union, make up the G20. Which G20 member has the smallest population? No, I can borrow something. Come on. Come on. Crack Canada. On. No, it's Australia. Which EU member state has the smallest population? Luxembourg. Luxembourg. No, it's Malta. Ten points for this. In chemistry, what term denotes the snake-like motion of polymer molecules in a polymer melt? I'll tell you, it's reptation. Ten points for this. Eczema is a skin condition that may have a number of possible causes. In this sentence, and at the gong, Southampton University had 135, St. Catherine's College, Cambridge, had 165. Well, you're a jolly nice team, Southampton, and you did pretty well most of the time. And who knows, you might well, as 135 come back as one of the highest scoring losing teams. Who knows? We'll see. But thank you for very much for joining us. Well done, St Catherine's. You left it a bit late, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> However, you did it. That's all that counts. We'll see you in the next round. So thank you very much. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Southampton University. Goodbye. It's goodbye from St Catherine's College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.